Odyssey, Odyssey, Odyssey. I almost wish the leaks weren't as accurate as they were. But anyways, more turrets, more guns. That's basically what it is. Hello, YouTubers. This is Anubifier. It's the 27th of November, and several days ago, I posted a question. Will we be melting the Carrick for this new Odyssey? Today, that ship was released, and we're going to take a detailed look at everything that was released, but also find out if our assessment and predictions were correct. Did CIG release the Carrick Killer? From a quick glance, I don't think so, but it does offer some unique features as was leaked at a more difficult to swallow $700 initial pledge price. So the Odyssey is the newest concept. It's a MISC Explorer and based on the price, could we consider this the top exploration ship? Up here we really have the Carrick and the Endeavor and one of those is flying around with most of its features missing pending the release of jump points and the other is a set of pictures and a text document that hasn't really been updated since 2015. The Odyssey is claimed to be the most advanced exploration ship that you can buy as a civilian. It has built-in mining tech, a built-in tractor beam, they claim a large cargo bay but I think 262 SCU isn't really that large for a $700 ship, more on that later. A detailed interior intended for very long duration with comfort and mining tech, this is said to be able to operate almost indefinitely. All of that does sound good. Unlike the leaks, it has more than one turret, three actually, three with a pair of size 5 guns, so some teeth there. They are remotely operated and they claim that the shields are robust, which you would expect for a ship of this size, which is almost capital, right? Almost capital size, up there with the Polaris. It has a hangar that can accommodate mid-level fighters such as the Sabre, so still no microcarrier. And note, the Polaris was said to carry a Gladius, but when a Sabre's folded up, it's still a tidy fit. Tier 2 medical facilities, which are becoming highly important, and this leaves the Endeavour with its main module purpose. Hospital. You still need one. The real party piece is the mining and tractor systems with the refinery. It looks as though they stuck a prospector inside the ship mesh, which is funny because it's a good way to save time and development, but then you also get the style and branding identity of MISC. Nothing says MISC like sticking a prospector into something else, right? It never specified that it can mine anything but Quantanium. It never specified that it could refine anything other than Quantanium. And they did specify gas capture similar to the Starfare, which makes sense considering it's a MISC ship. And based on the ship art, they literally took assets from a Starfare and stuck them in a room. Again, saving development time and locking down that brand identity. The top deck is Gravity Generator, Engineering and Refinery. Pretty Spartan. Mid deck is full. Bridge level, habitation, weapon systems, storage, docking collars, lifts. And the lower front section is your mining systems, med bay, cargo ramp. That can also launch a rock or cyclone sized rover. You have the hangar and they specifically highlighted the rear window for looking out of. It's being sold with paint and usual stuff. 625 cash war bond, including the $20 paint for concierge. So you save 20 bucks. 625 cash war bond without the paint for non-concierge. And why would you do that, right? <laughs> it's like a little bit of a dick move. Comment in the comments with your comments if you think that was silly or not. Moving on, we have the actual price of 700 if you use store credit. And that comes with your 120 month insurance and then you still have to buy the paint. There is a discovery pack with a Sabre and a Cyclone for 795 war bond which you could consider to be a decent deal if you were going to buy those two ships anyways, because those two extras come to about 200 ish dollars. So if you're going to buy them anyways, that would be about $100 of savings. And then of course, you could use them as tokens. That same thing with store credit is 885 and 120 month insurance, which is not a good deal. But you can CCU to it if you had a token, but there's no extra fancy war bond trickery with the CCUs. Now, the Carrick. To me, the Carrick still looks really good with its modular containers that offer some diversity, its protection, the rover bay, the blast shield, the little hangar, all that's quite similar. But then you have a jump computer, stabilizers, long range fuel tank, and other compelling features. Plus, it's $100 less. So if you're part of a larger exploration fleet, which includes a Starfarer, a Vulcan, some combat ships, then the Carrick to me offers a bunch more and it's all highly specialized, right? It's an ex-military exploration ship that's designed to go and fight its way somewhere. 
If you think it's a good idea to shoot off into the black of space by yourself with a ship that can refuel and can carry not much in the way of cargo, then the Misk Odyssey is your ship. Sarcasm aside, it's cool, but I'll probably pass. I'll keep my Carrick, but I'd like to hear what you think. Will you be upgrading? Will you be passing? Or are you financially stable and are you going to decide to buy both? And if you did, tell me what you think they do differently that you wanted to buy both and add them to your fleet. When rounding out the video, just as a public service, the Hall series also got a price bump, meaning that some of your melted CCUs are now a bad deal, but some of your unmelted CCUs instantly became free money. This is the nature of the CCU game. Join the Discord if you'd like to discuss the CCU game. We actually have a full section just for that. And they're asking four questions in Spectrum for the upcoming q and I'll link that up for you. I wanted to say that I'm actively trying to grow the channel by producing timely, accurate, informative, and relevant content. Most importantly, short, so you will never see a bloated intro here. Please share the channel and get this place some growth. Support me by sharing and watching, and I'll do the rest. Thank you very much for spending your time with me. Fly safe and I'll see you in the verse.